Hello guys. In this episode, I'm going to be shortening and soldering an XLR cable. This XLR cable is really, really long. So I need to shorten it. And I'm going to shorten this to about 36 inches. 36 inches right there. So, the best place to run is on this side because there's a lot more room to work on on this side than this side. So I'm going to cut off this cable. Get enough cable out. Get it to 36 that I need, which is right there. 36, and I'm just going to cut. Now on this side, you take this whole part out, just unscrew, get this, I need this head, I need this, but I don't need any of this, so I'm just going to cut right here, take all this out, take all this out, remember always put these in first, otherwise you're going to have to unsolder everything back. And you'll have a fun time doing that. Turn on my solder right now. I just have an old Radio Shack solder. It's been working for me for years and years. Just last. Take this. Need about that length. So I'm just going to cut from about right there. And a lot of this is by feel to where I could, where I could get it out. See this is braided. With it being braided. I just use, this is my go-to, just use the end of the knife, not the sharp end, but the dull end. Dig it in and push up a little bit to get it unbraided. So now I'm trying to get the the copper wires away from the from the uh, white wires. See how I can do that. Just because we don't need the white wires are just for strength of the wire, which we don't need to use right now. Or well, not the white wires, the white strings, which I'm trying to get separate. from the copper. Almost got it all. So that's the copper. Roll it tight. There you go. Got that real tight. And then this part, the white string, I don't need anymore. So I'm just going to cut. my three wires now these need to go back in here the only thing is I don't need them that long and this wire is too small for this meaning when I put this in here it's just it's, it's not gonna even work so I'm just gonna do it by feel a lot of times it just takes practice but you feel it and then once you feel it you could just strip it I know it's not as easy as it looks I've cut many wires out but sometimes when you do this enough you know at what pressure to start pulling the plastic off so there's the uh, those are my three wires I need all right now you get this off two three We get the heat shrink off. I don't have any heat shrink today, so instead of heat shrink, afterwards I'll be putting on a electrical tape. But anyways, I always use a holder. Just hold it. And now I use this, and I take it off.
what happens is you want to leave this on here. I don't know if it's hot enough yet, but if it's not hot enough yet, I might have to wait a little bit for the solder to it to uh, get hot enough. But I just leave it on. And it should just melt the whole thing if it's hot enough, and I should just be able to pull it out easily because solder becomes like liquid, and it just comes out. If it was hotter, it'll be I could do this a lot faster, but it's not that hot yet since I just turned it on a second ago. Not hot enough yet. So I'm going to do another step first. I'm just going to come here. Take this cable. Turn it to where I need it. I need, I need it like this. I need to put it back into place. Let's see how hot this thing is right now. And, yep, yeah, it's hot enough. Put this right here. Usually a lot of people just put solder on the tip. You always want to pre-solder all your wires. You see I'm going further down. Pre-solder all your wires. It makes, it makes soldering a lot easier. But you let the heat work with you. This should be high enough to take these out now. Lay it on there. In about a few seconds it should become like water and it just comes out. You don't need to apply any pressure. There we go. Coming out. There we go. Next one. It's going to become like liquid and just comes right out. You don't need to apply pressure. Last one. Don't need to apply much pressure. Okay. Now to put the three, three wires in. And at this point, I'm just put them in. This should not be hot anymore. You know, just touch it, just make sure it's close by in the proximity. Leave the solder on there, make sure the solder melts, it becomes like liquid again, remember as I said. It just goes in. Don't have to do any pressure, no pressure necessary. If it's too hard to put in, that means your soldering iron is not high enough, and it just slides on in. Then you let it cool, and you can do the next one. If you're using pressure, that means your soldering iron is not hot enough. Next one was the white one in the middle. Kind of keep it there. Right there. This is always the hard part is to line everything up. It just takes steady hands. Put that one in, it'll just melt right through. See that? And right there. It just melts right through. Once it's hot, it just becomes like water. And then when it's once it's cold again, it just becomes hard. There we go. Done with the soldering. That's it for that. Now blow in a little bit. Make sure it cools down. What I'm going to do also is I'm going to put a little bit of a, a little bit of a electrical tape just for safety, even though not necessarily required. But why not just do it just for peace of mind? Just to make sure nothing touches. Still a little warm, so be careful after you solder. We warm for a little bit. It will vary depending on how hot you have your iron. But it's almost ready to touch. Anyways, just putting some electrical tape around around the uh, the areas, just making just making sure things don't touch. Not really necessary, and I'll show you why in a second. That's there coming there. Let's get a, one more piece, one more small piece. For the white, a little bit too large. A 
And this is just in place of heat shrink. Just because I don't have any today. But this works just as well. Especially since this cable will not be moving around. You don't really need a heat shrink. There you go. Everything's covered. Now the other thing is, since it's such a thin wire, this thing clamps it down and holds it tight. So I'm going to put... A little bit of uh, tape right there just to make sure it clamps down and holds it securely. So let's just take some. Put this across like this and that's just to help the clamp make sure it clamps down the reason why you don't really need to put tape on it and it's just a caution is because this is plastic this clamp this plastic clamp will just basically shield everything because that's how it goes it just basically puts everything inside and shields everything Anyways, from the metal housing. Pretty neat design how they did how this was invented, but cool. Put that through. That clamp's gonna clamp it down. And there you go. Now a much shorter cable. And we're done.